we are back now with today's food, and we're joined by New York City based chef Natasha Pickwitz whose new book, More Than Cake, is out right now. And it's a cookbook that's full of recipes, delicious recipes, unique pastries. Natasha isn't just a culinary pro. No, no. She's also a bake sale star. And she's got some great tips to help you uh, really shine for your next bake sale. Is that right? Exactly. Thank you so much. This is your first time on. This is my first time on. This so is excited. dream come true. Let's yeah. do it. What are we making this morning? <laughs> okay, well, we well you mentioned the bake sales. Yeah. So I just wanted to share a few tips for how to have bake sale at home okay. so one I think if you are gonna have a bake sale at home you know it's so hot so make sure you're not like putting out a cake with icing that's gonna melt off Smart. put in like a brownie that's gonna taste great in the yes. Sun um, again it's hot have like a little drink you know I always like to have a kind of a little spritz or like an apple cider in the fall yes. so, you know get people wanting to come back for more okay. <laughs> and then you know I think we eat with our eyes first, so whenever I'm having a bake sale, I want to have put out some flowers, have like a nice linen. So you know, it, Pre everything all that looks presentation. super inviting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's so easy to do, and it's just the most fun thing in the world. So what are we going to make this morning? Okay, we are going to make my nubby granola shortbread. Nubby granola shortbread from More Than Cake. Okay. Ex I mean, everyone has you know granola at home, a little bit of this. This is actually white rice flour because okay. you want the shortbread to kind of like melt in your mouth mm. and it's gluten free. Oh, sure. has walnuts, walnuts on it, tons of protein, you know, little granulated sugar, you know, all the sweetness. And I always season my pastries really well. Okay. So this is great because you make the cookie. Oh, oh my God. We'll make the cookie that. just, yeah, exactly. And then uh, and, and that becomes this. Exactly. And then you want to keep your butter nice and cold. Why is that? So it doesn't get greasy in the cookie because you want the cookie to be nice and light and just really like, you know, tender and delicate. And you're cutting those into cubes, I see. And then we're just going to toss them into this mixture. Which so is one by one or? Just all at once. Oh, okay. And then we're going to buzz it all up. So this kind of looks like breadcrumbs. Okay. So it's super delicate. And, and that becomes this. Yeah. So like, feel this. It kind of feels damp, oh, sort of yeah. sandy. It does. It feels like sand. Not too, you know. <laughs> Yeah, just taste it. I mean, probably tastes great. Yeah. So, and again, you can use any granola you want. What's the word? What's the word, kids? It is so delicious. Oh, good. And again, yeah, gluten-free, melt in your mouth. So the way I like to do this is just take the back of your knuckles yeah. and just very lightly press it in. A little pro tip there. Yeah, because okay. you don't want the cookie to be too dense and gummy. You just want it to be like melt in your mouth. All right. It does melt. Um, and then, you know, I love to kind of like score it right in How the How long are we baking that? Like half an hour, 35 okay. minutes. And that then becomes this. And then that becomes this. So I just kind of run a knife through it. Because you want little bite-sized squares. Because yeah. they are so intense. It tastes so good. Oh, my goodness. Try this. And then, yeah, get in there. Try, that's Try. Like and then right. last thing. Oh. I, I love the oh. We're all putting flaky salt on our cookies yes. now. So you just want to make sure you're hitting it with a little oh my gosh, salt. That's yummy. Uh -huh. The salt yeah. on everything makes oh it my taste goodness. that much better. It just elevates it. And these it. cookies, are, do they, are we going to share the recipe on the website? This Absolutely. is like one of the best cookies I've ever tasted. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so this is my buckwheat chocolate this chunks. This is brown wait, butter. buckwheat? Mm -hmm. So are these gluten-free also? Buckwheat. That does have a little bit of wheat flour in it, okay. but it's a mix. These are gluten-free. I hit these with powdered sugar at the very end, so it's really oh like God. you get that pop of bright color at the end. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. Try and this then, chocolate this cookie. Can I, yeah. chocolate cookie? <laughs> Add a piece of the salt. And, what, and you said so buckwheat? So buckwheat. Why buckwheat? <laughs> What's the... Buckwheat is like earthy and nutty. It goes great with chocolate. Oh, my gosh. It's really good. It goes great with I'm just brown keep butter. I'm some sugar. I know. He just keeps <laughs> eating powdered yummy. chicken. Right Table here. side powdered sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is my, you know. This is pretty thing. easy to make. Is this equally as easy? I mean, have you ever made a chocolate chip cookie before? I have. It's been a while. I, I think it's about as simple as making a chocolate chip cookie can be. But Delicious. you brown butter. Yeah. I toast the flour. Oh, so you, oh. bring, out so you the bring out a lot of the flavor. intensity of the buckwheat. Natasha, yeah. thank you. Thank you so thank much. And congrats on the, on the cookbook as well. Thank you so much. These are really yummy. This is like top five of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Today.com slash food for the recipe.